It is Turkey Talk Wednesday. Yes, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving where we talk about turkeys. No, we don't talk about turkeys. Well, we don't talk about those turkeys. We'll talk about the other turkeys. Yeah, you know the ones, those turkeys who are going to show up at your house on Thanksgiving to sit and have a feast with you. The turkeys we like to call our family. Those turkeys who know how to press your buttons, who know how to walk in the door, and even though you're a grown person, know how to make you feel like you are 12 years old again. Yep, those turkeys, the turkeys that God gave you. <laughs> yes, your family. Now here's the thing, we can choose our friends, hopefully we choose wisely, and choose good friends who will show up for us, but we cannot choose our family. No, we cannot. But here's the thing, our family was chosen for us. Yep, God chose our family for us. I don't know why. Sometimes I think he had a wild sense of humor when he chose my family. But the reality is, he chose our family for a reason. And our family, though they may be full of turkeys, is the reason why we are the people we are today. Now, we can blame them for a lot of the things that are wrong with us, but the reality is we have to take ownership of those things and just kind of let them go. Because they're our family. Our family is our family. Again, you can choose your friends, but you cannot choose your family. You can choose people who are like your family. I have friends who are like my family, but they are not actually my family. So, here's the thing. Whether they're turkeys or not, they're your family and appreciate them for who they are because there's a mixture of people that make up our family some good some crazy some eccentric some a little wacky nevertheless they are ours so claim them this Thanksgiving claim your turkeys claim them enjoy them appreciate them for who they are appreciate them for the pieces of them that help to make you who you are. Because the reality is, at some point in time, maybe sooner than later, some of those turkeys sitting at the table may not be there anymore because that's how life goes. So how about this Thanksgiving? Instead of thinking of them all as turkeys, you just focus on the turkey that you're eating and enjoy your family, love them, appreciate them. Don't let them press your buttons, you have a choice. I know we all think we don't have a choice when we get our buttons pushed, but you do. You have a choice and just appreciate them, love them in spite of themselves, in spite of yourself. Enjoy every moment that you have with them. Have fun, maybe start a new tradition to do something fun and different. Play a game together. Spend time together. Don't try to rush everybody out the door or rush yourself out the door from their house. Just enjoy them. Love them no matter what. Because they, oddly enough, are a gift from God. So I hope that this Thanksgiving, the only turkey that you will focus on is the one that you eat. And hopefully you will eat plenty of it. And love the people around you. Whatever you choose to do, do it with a smile. God bless you, and happy, happy, happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Bye-bye.